what a kick. We're feeling real old. That was a real backhander, if you don't mind me saying. John Siracusa kicks a goal. Doggy, doggy, doggy. Doggy. That was a beauty. He's kicked three of our four goals. Susan Alberti may not be a name you recognise, unless you're a fan of the Western Bulldogs AFL team, with which she has an obsessive involvement. But if your child has type 1 diabetes, you'd know that Susan is a major driving force behind the medical effort to find a cure. That's right. Um, back in about 1980, 82, my, do my then daughter, uh, who's deceased, uh, was 12 years old, and she was diagnosed with juvenile diabetes. And at that particular time, there was really nothing around in the way of research and or care education. And my daughter too, she was a pretty smart young lady. She was asking questions as well of doctors and, and asking, you know, what, what do they see about the future with her disease? And she wasn't getting answers. When Danielle died, you decided, although you'd actually been interested from the very beginning, of course, yes. you decided to really make this your thing, that you would actually yes. pour your effort into it. Yes. What, what can an individual do when they turn their mind to it? It's amazing what the power of one can do. Hello Billy, how are you? Thank you all for being here today. You're going to sit next to me, are you? And how long have you had the pump? It's been a year since I've had the pump. I'd never really taken much interest in diabetes, but when she was diagnosed I wanted to know everything. Usually complications do set in after 20 years. It can be the eyes, it can be the kidneys, it can be the heart. I had to have heaps and heaps of jelly beans. What's the one thing that you'd all like to see? Cure. Yeah, mm. What about you? I was determined to make a difference anyhow, and I think I've done that. Uh, five patients in Victoria. Of those five patients, two of those patients are no longer taking insulin after more than 20 years of type 1 diabetes. Of being on insulin? Yes, well, right. That certainly is a breakthrough. I would hope that I am encouraging other people to give because there's nothing more rewarding than seeing medical science come to fruition. I want to make sure that it happens now whilst I'm alive and try and make it happen. always say to me, Mum, there's people sicker than me. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing um, because I haven't uh, won the, the battle yet and I'll keep on fighting until I find a cure.